Okay, a short little update. I'm gonna call this video Swamp Donkeys and Tree Roots. Uh, recently we had some heavy wind damage to the barn. Um, we've been trying to deal with that and then added on top of all that stress of going through the insurance company and all that, someone decides to call the Humane Society on my horses. Now, they tried to say that we we're keeping our horses in the swamp and feeding them tree roots. Now, look at how fat these two are. These have been built back all that time. And I don't know if they're referring about this mess out front here or whatever. It's a friggin' paddock. What do you expect? It's the winter. Now, the barn, it does need a lot of work. It's either going to come down or get replaced. I'm not sure yet. But, uh, yeah, we didn't really need the added stress. And if I find out who called the main side of me, you're going to pay. Simple as that. And I will find out eventually. And it's probably one of my friends that did it. So, anyway, um, it is what it is. Is it a bad thing? No, not really. The barn wasn't really that safe. So they came and looked. The guy laughed and he said, well, you can use the back stalls, but I want that front stall boarded off because you scared the barn is going to fall in. So I said, fine, no problem. We got a uh, Amish built 10 by 20 lean to coming. Hopefully it'll be here next week. Hopefully. Um, I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. Probably out front here. I'm not 100% sure yet. That fence got to come down anyway. So but the plan is now to build a new barn. So now when the dilemma is, do we build a four stall barn, a eight stall barn? And some of the quotes were 58,000 for the four stall, which I think is a friggin' joke. 100,000 uh, 100, for an eight stall one that the guy wanted and it didn't have a, it didn't have a hayloft or nothing. So I'm pretty sure that guy is out to lunch. Here's one of the horses. Yeah, this is one of the horses that are starving and uh and mistreat it eh? anyway so what we're probably going to do is get the Amish to build or Mennonite north of Sterling Billis a small riding arena with a barn an eight stall barn attached they will be a lot cheaper than these guys I priced out a fabric building 60 60 by 120 the guy wanted 100 130,000 for a, a, a coverall building, basically. Um, and I don't really want to replace the cover on it about 10 or 15 years. He said it's good for 25 years or 20 years, but who knows? You can't really believe people. So, hey buddy, you're the neglected swamp donkey. Yes, there's a swamp donkey right there. And you can see how fat he is. Now he's being neglected. Look at his feet, perfect feet on him. Now they're due to get done again, but Anyway, I just want to take some time out to show you, tell you guys what was going on. Um, it's, it's just been a hectic year here at Cormier's Stables, or farm, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, yeah, that's where we're at. Barn's got to come down or it's got to get renovated. Now, that barn is, it's got uh, two long sill joints rotted out. That meaning the sill joint right in there to there that piece in there is rotted all the way down and same on the other side and on the other side it's got two upright uprights that are rotted at one there and one at the back on the on the opposite side now um, if we renovate it we'll have to retin it and that's going to be expensive uh, but I'm thinking it might still come in cheaper to do that than than it is to tear it down I know they'll pay me to tear it down but get 40 by 50 plus another 16 feet of the back we can get eight stalls on that barn. So if it costs me 30, 40 grand to renovate it that I could use it with stalls inside, then it may be worth it. Either that, well, I, I can't get rid of the horses. They're like my kids, so, and I like them here. So boarding them out somewhere else, yes, it's cheaper in the long run, but it's just not my thing. I like looking after them. I like them and cutting firewood and we just invested in a new tractor to look after them. So cut a little firewood. Anyway, guys, Sorry there hasn't been a lot of videos. I've been making videos here and there, but I just haven't been editing them. So it's a one-shot deal right here. So just because I don't have time to edit. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. There's where we are right now. Um, I still have to get a little bit more hay. And the Hellcaddy's parked out front here. Just because I'm scared someone's gonna tie my gate again. So anyway, talk to you guys later. Have fun and have a Merry Christmas.